What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this is an HD camera, but it's uh, kind of interesting because it's kind of a nanny cam spy camera. Um, and it's uh, hidden in a charger. And that's what kind of makes it uh, pretty interesting. Now, uh, you may want this for a variety of different reasons. I don't know why you will, but let me just throw out some reasons that you might. Maybe you are actually worried about the nanny. Yeah, right? You want to see if she's beating your kids or stealing your jewelry. Well, you can, you can certainly do that. Um, maybe you want to just keep an eye on your pet and see what they're actually doing. You know, did that uh, obedience school pay off? Maybe you're just a creep like me, uh, whatever it might be. So there could be all sorts of reasons, but I was really curious if it worked and how well it works. So it does look like it's wrapped up in plastic here pretty nicely. It does look like generally maybe kind of any typical charging brick, right? This doesn't look um, that dissimilar to, you know, something that comes with your smartphone. And, uh, you know, the only thing I would say about it from a uh, kind of a stealth perspective is that it just seems a little bit bigger, right? It seems a little bit longer, like there's, you know, 20 or 30% extra length on it. But otherwise, <laughs> I don't think you'd look at it and be like, whoa, there's something wrong with that. Because I've seen, you know, you single USB charging port bricks that are much bigger than this. Remember Blackberry? I don't know why they sent out like such weird shapes. But you can see right there, there's the pinhole for the camera. So everything's black. So very, very small USB charger right there uh, should be should work and then two prongs for charging uh, you comes with this USB 2.0 flash drive it looks like oh it's a uh, it's a jumper for like the micro SD card which it also comes with okay so man I'm pretty impressed with this I actually was gonna grab one of my SD cards because I thought I was gonna have to use one of mine but it comes with a 32 gig micro SD card uh, class 10 card no less so pretty impressed with that that looks like it goes on this side, which is nice because that's gonna be more discreet than having a slot on the back side. And what you can do here is once this starts recording, my assumption is I don't see any buttons or anything on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this out and, and you're gonna jump um, this to your computer by putting it in here. It only goes in one way, getting it in the right way. There we go, it goes in that way. And then you would plug this into your computer and then just recognize it as a external flash drive and you can copy the video files off of it. So I think that's it. I will check out these instructions. Um, and, oh, and here's the QR code for the app. Here, I do record in 4K because that's the only way to to go. So, uh, or search the name iMiniCam in your app store. But if you want to scan this off your screen, you can just do that. Uh, so there will be an app, it looks like. Uh, oh, an Android, here you go. Again, I'm Minicam in the Google Play Store right there for you, for you guys. All right, guys, so I downloaded the iMiniCam app right there, uh, connected it via Wi-Fi, my iPad, to the Wi-Fi network that the camera is putting out. It's, a, it's plugged in right next to me on the floor. And when I opened the app, it found the camera. I didn't actually add it itself. Not only that, but now it's saying online. So I'm just going to tap it here. And... To change your default password. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to open it up and boom, like I said, it's right next to me and I am looking. And so, you know, I think you can record and whatnot here, but I'll be honest, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, that uh, I'll, the color representation on the screen is kind of way better than I expected. Let me see if I can get it up here without knocking everything over. So, yeah, man. So I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I think it, it actually looks better than I really thought it would. I kind of expected, you know, I've shown you those little clip-on spy cameras, uh, the ones in the pen. You know, the color representation is terrible, even in broad daylight. I don't know why it doesn't white balance better. But this one, I think, actually looks pretty good. Uh, you know, when I'm looking at it streaming on the app here, you know, the, the movement is actually pretty good. The color representation, it's, it's kind of great for spying, like real-time live streaming spying. Um, like I said, if you're a creeper, that's great. But if you're just trying to keep an eye on someone. Now, it also seems like you have to look at the streaming video by connecting to the Wi-Fi signal. So it's only going to be good if you're close enough. Um, 
I think what we'll take a look at now is can I actually uh, go ahead and get the app to record. And it kind of looks like I can. Looks like I have some other uh, settings up here. Oh, black and white. That's kind of crazy. All right, back to color. Um, hello? Hello? Okay, so uh, it was all, by default it was on mute, but there is a microphone on the thing because I did get a little echo there. And let's see, if I hit that, it's snapshot saved. If I hit this, uh, recording has started. So right now I'm recording video and this is just a recording. And so uh, the great thing is, you know, if I'm leaving the house or something, we want to record that nanny, I can hit the record button here, uh, capture as much video, I assume, as my SD card will allow, and then review it later. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to hit stop recording here. Uh, looks like you can also flip the images depending, you know, <laughs> I guess what I realize is that there's not a really obvious up and down <laughs> Uh, because of the way the charging brick is, it's just kind of square. So you might have to, it's nice to have those orientation um, adjustments in the app there. But hey, I'm pretty impressed with this. Like I said, the video quality on this little guy is actually better than some of the other cameras I've had in the past. So uh, check it out. I'll put a link to this in the description. I mean, it could serve a lot of great purposes. Uh, you can even use it outdoors. To be honest, it's, it's so simple to set up, the video is decent enough that, you know, as opposed to getting kind of a wireless Nest Cam or something like that, just to monitor certain things, you could put this uh, outside, because it's, it's relatively cheap, and watch the backyard the kids playing. You could put this in your garage, just to make sure that the garage doors are, are down. You know, it's something I kind of sweat all the time. And just because it's so small and out of the way, you're not putting up a big, massive, uh, you know, camera system. So. I dig it, man. I'm really impressed with this. Yeah. There it is. Spy cameras. They're pretty awesome. And they make you feel like James Bond. Peter Von Panda. Out!